All right, everyone. Um, I just want to show something here which I've had, like, I've known for a while, but I've never actually told anyone. Here he's got a normal Bedini setup running a bifiler uh, wound coil. Uh, but if you attach an 18 gauge, well, it seems to work with an 18 gauge or a thicker set, uh, thick set of wires. That's uh, good. You can actually run a pulse motor from this coil either side without actually having the uh, trigger wire and both file around one uh, in the actual like timing mechanism uh, the advantages that I found of this is if I run this one with no 18 gauge connected it runs so fast but if I have the 18 gauge connected it just goes crazy it runs a whole lot faster I'm gonna have to try start it up which it's uh, a bit of a rough set at the moment Sorry about my camera work, I've got nothing pre-planned, this is just off the spot. Uh, so I'm going to put in a bit of metal to get the trigger going and get this up to speed. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's uh, a whole lot faster gaining a lot more speed and that's with this in the inside core you hear that? Stay steady speed up a whole lot more it'll go a whole lot faster so about the uh, bit of a mess up. But yeah, um, that's what I found. Just by having this 18 gauge wire. Just by having the 18 gauge as a secondary coil running just off the positive, uh, well just connected up as this, but not by Philo, just a single coil set. Uh, I don't know about any amperage drawers, I don't know about the output of it. It's just something that I've known about for a while that I haven't really shared. So someone else might find that more useful or you might be able to develop it a bit more. But yeah, uh, it works. Like I say, I've 18 gauge. This one is... Oh, it's been so long now, I think like 28 gauge. Maybe 27 or something. But yeah, um, that's all I wanted to show you.